the, the concern really does fall into a greater category of gender-based violence, which we know in Canada is high. On the heels of a Winnipeg police warning involving a string of serious targeted assaults on women in the city over the span of four months, one expert highlights the need to address the root causes behind higher rates of rape and violence against women, trans and non-binary people here in the country. Winnipeg police are investigating five incidents of women between the ages of 15 and 30 being attacked along the Red River Trail. Andrea Gunraj, vice president of public engagement with the Canadian Women's Foundation, says data shows repeatedly women feel unsafe in public spaces. And these attacks represent the extreme side of a spectrum of sexual violence perpetrated against women. However, catcalls, along with sexual harassment in the workplace and school setting, need to be addressed in order to change the way women are feeling unsafe in public in general. They're more unlikely to feel safe um, in their neighborhood, maybe going and running errands, going to and from work, doing public activities. This is an issue in many places in Canada. In a response to the attacks on women, Winnipeg police are cautioning the public to not walk or run the trails alone, to run without headphones playing music and tell someone else what route you are planning to take. You know, the police's goal isn't to send everyone into panic, but it is to send a very strong cautionary message of safety. Gunrash says the root cause of these issues is systemic sexism and investment priorities need to shift. Investing in community safety. It's not just about police, not just about the legal system. It's about changing the way our communities are so that they become safer on a whole community level. Well, the duty should not be on women, trans or non-binary people to protect themselves while running in public spaces. Gunrash says a few things you can do to be safer while doing so is to select more populated routes and run during daytime hours if possible. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.